In most cities, the ground floor is zero. Here, the ground floor might be the roof of another world. They said it was impossible to build a city here. They were wrong. They looked at these raging rivers and vertical mountains, and they said it was impossible to build a city here. Step one, the stilt. Every structure begins with a wooden leg in the mud. The city's secret. 1.5 million square meters of tunnels for foundations. The machines arrive. The era of hand labor ends. Surveying. If you hit a hidden cave while building, the skyscraper sinks. This bit ate 100 meters of limestone a day. Reinforcement. Before you go up, you must lock the mountain in place. The crane, the most important tool in the 8D kit. Without it, the city stops at the cliff's edge. High altitude winds can snap a crane in half. The skeleton, steel gives the concrete its flexible strength. Without this cage, the stone would shatter. We are 50 meters below the river level right now. To build a tower that touches the clouds, we have to start in the deep dark. Efficiency. In 1982, we perfected the slip form. Now, the building doesn't wait for the concrete to dry. The humal cost. Long before advanced harnesses, the Spider-Men of the Yangtze built this city with nothing but hemp rope and iron will. Hydraulics, defying gravity with sheer pressure. We no longer carry the stone. We pump it into the sky. Precision. In the 8D world, a one centimeter error at the base becomes a one meter disaster at the top. The city's true strength is invisible. In Chongqing, the foundations are often deeper than the buildings are tall. 1992. No one had ever spanned a kilometer here without a center pillar. Step two, dry the river, build a wall and dig. the mole, carving subways for the next five years. The link is made. Chongqing is no longer an island. Phase two, the labyrinth, five levels of altitude. Every ramp needs its own carved mountain ledge. Each level must support the weight of the next. I'm on level three and there's still two stories of road above me. Precision lifting. These segments are the row's spine. Chongqing's heat expands the road. It needs to breathe. The highest road in the city. Level five is complete. The cerebellum of Chongqing. Eight directions, 20 ramps. The bridge between the ground and the sky is finally open. The spiral. 720 degrees to solve a 40 meter drop. We can't go through the cliff, so we'll spin our way to the bottom. The pivot. This single column is the spine of the entire descent. Building without supports. The road holds itself up. It's like building a roller coaster for commuter cars. Two full circles just to get home for dinner. The descent is ready. Two full circles. Safety first, you don't want to fly off this curve. 8D geometry in motion. Step three, the portal. No land to stop on. Sealing the mountain to prevent rock falls. You're on a bridge one second and inside a cliff the next. In Chongqing, the shortest distance between two points. Turning night into day. Inside the rock, we create our own sun. The mountain is no longer a barrier. It's a road. In Chongqing, wasted space is a sin. The bridge is the foundation for a 10-story building. Every meter of height is a meter of potential. A room with a view of the river 
suspended directly under the highway. My coffee is vibrating. There's a traffic jam 40 meters above my head. Welcome to the world's most industrial living room. The shadow economy. In a city this dense, we don't let the darkness go to waste. Every square meter of concrete is a potential arena. Here, the city doesn't just pass over you, it surrounds you. This is 8D efficiency. In Chongqing, we don't just build bridges, we build foundations for lives. Step five, two worlds on one bridge, one for the rubber, one for the rail. The train gets the basement. The cars get the roof. The wind from this train is enough to knock you over. This isn't just a bridge, it's a high velocity wind tunnel. Finishing the dual purpose structure. The Sky Road is ready. Security on the Sky Road. We build the view, then we build the protection. 300,000 people cross this structure every day. Some see the sky, others see the steel. Both get home on time. The bridge is, is complete. A monument to the impossible. But the road doesn't end here. Chongqing is too steep for steel. In a city built on 45 degree slopes, traditional trains are useless. We need grip. Building a station inside a living room. In most cities, this is a conflict. In Chongqing, it's the only logical conclusion. Decoupling the rail from the house. 150 rubber hearts to keep the neighbors from feeling the pulse. Right now, this is a void, a hole in someone's home. Soon, it's a transit artery. The most famous 20 meters of track in the world. The damping pads work, zero vibration. How to build a bridge without a crane? You build a machine that walks across the clouds. 0.1 millimeter tolerance. In a city of mountains, there is no room for error. Slow down, slow down, watch the balcony. A little more to the left, yes, yes, yes. It's clear now, keep going. The machine walks across the sky. We are building a road where there is no earth to hold it. It's three in the morning. We're suspended by a few bolts and a lot of math. Down there is the city. The points are 20 ton concrete slabs moving like silk. In this ballet, a single millimeter of error is not an option. The green dragon of Chongqing. It doesn't fight the mountain, it flows with it. The mountain has been conquered not with a tunnel, but with a thread of light. Now we go down, 94 meters down. To build in Chongqing, you don't just climb the sky, you have to conquer the abyss. Building a concrete tube 30 stories below ground, the deepest hole in the city. A 45 degree canyon carved through solid history to connect the sky to the core. I can barely see the surface. We're 94 meters down. Step two, the vertical commute. To move thousands of people 30 stories up, we aren't just building stairs. We're building a mechanical mountain. That's the pressure. We just climbed 30 stories in 40 seconds. Welcome to Hong Tudi. Better call ahead if you're meeting someone. It takes 10 minutes just to get out of the station. The vertical subway is complete. From the clouds to the core, Chongqing is now a 3D grid. The city is getting a brain. Step three, the AI takes the wheel. We are removing the human variable to make room for absolute precision. No driver, just 5G and a lot of faith in the algorithm. The city is officially driving itself. The nervous system of the metropolis. Here, the city doesn't just run, it thinks. Next train in 30 seconds. The pulse of the city never stops. Phase four, hanging a palace on a cliff. Before we build up, 
we have to anchor deep into the mountain's bones. Step one, the bone. Steel meets ancient stone. These anchors are the only thing keeping the palace from sliding into the river. There are 2,000 of these across this cliff. This single bolt is holding up 100 tons of building. The shelf, creating land where there is none. We are extending the city over the edge of the world. The foundation is locked. The cliff is no longer just a rock, it's a machine. Ancient tech meets modern steel. To build a palace of wood on a foundation of iron, we return to the source. Step two, the art. No nails, just wood on wood. They're building a palace in the sky with 14th century joints. It's a paradox. It's the skin of the dragon. 50,000 clay tiles, fired in ancient kilns. Modern speed inside an ancient shell. To make the cliff accessible, we hid a machine in the heart of the timber. Hongya Cave is born. A vertical wonder that honors the past while defying the laws of gravity. It feels like the Ming Dynasty, but we're hanging on steel bolts. A 600-year-old dream held up by 21st century physics. Step three, the glow. To turn this cliff into an icon, we're wiring it with 50,000 points of light. The computer that turns the cliff into gold. Every single bulb is a pixel in a 12-story masterpiece. Look at it. In this light, the steel and concrete disappear. This isn't architecture anymore. It's a 12-story lantern hanging over the river. The cave gets an upgrade. Beneath the timber skin, a 5G nervous system now pulses, turning a cliffside village into a smart machine. The 8D postcard. In Chongqing, the ground is wherever you happen to be standing. A train on the roof, a river in the basement. In any other city, you take the elevator up to the 11th floor. In Chongqing, you walk off the sidewalk to get there. Ground floor is at the top. Welcome to Chongqing. The heart of the 8D city, a building that never sleeps, breathing with the rhythm of the river and the pulse of the digital age. Ready for the big one? We're going to Raffle City. Phase five starts now. Phase five, the horizontal skyscraper. Before we can build into the clouds, we have to anchor ourselves deep into the heart of the peninsula. Step one, the race to the top. Using self-climbing molds, the towers grow one floor every few days. We're going up 250 meters, four meters per second. This is how the heart of the city moves now, straight up. The shoulders of the giant. These beams are the anchors that will eventually catch a 3,000 ton bridge in the sky. The four pillars are ready. Four individual towers waiting for the one piece that will turn them into a single organism. The bridge is waiting below. 3,000 tons of steel, 1,000 workers, and four towers. Step two, gravity's final stand. 3,000 tons of steel currently anchored to the earth. It's like watching a mountain being pulled into the sky. You don't realize how big it is until it takes away the sun. No stopping until it reaches the 250 meter mark. Gravity doesn't take a night shift, and neither do the engineers. The five buildings are now one. No longer separate towers, but a single, massive organism reaching across the sky. Step three, the skin. 3,000 panels of curved glass are about to transform this steel spine into a transparent jewel. The ultimate 8D thrill, a window to the world below, held up by nothing but physics and three layers of tempered glass. It's 10 centimeters thick. I think I'm safe, mostly. A forest in the clouds. This isn't just a walkway, it's a living conservatory. <laughs> the 
the horizontal skyscraper is complete. A miracle of engineering that changed the skyline of Chongqing forever. The city is finished, for now. But Chongqing never really stops growing. Let's see what the future holds. Ground delivery is so 2024. Why wait in traffic when the sky is wide open? Future tech, frictionless transit. By 2030, we stopped fighting gravity and started using it to move. Feeding 30 million people from the sides of skyscrapers. In 2030, every building is a lung and a pantry. By 2030, we stopped building passive shells. Every surface is now a battery, drinking the sun to power the machine below. 2,000 years of building on stilts to stay above the floods. It all led us to this. Chongqing is the proof that man can live anywhere if he just looks up. Hit subscribe. Our next journey starts now.